Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project eHealthcare Management System and I have developed this project in Java, JSP and MySQL. The version for the JTK I am using is the JTK 1.8 and the MySQL version is 5.6. For Tomcat I am using the Tomcat version 7 but if you have Tomcat version 8 or 9 you can easily configure this project on Tomcat version 8 and 9 also. Right. So. Uh, for connecting the database means the mysql with the java and jsp we, i have used the mysql connector which you will get easily from the mysql.org website for front-end development this is a web application so for front-end development i have used html css and javascript and some of the jquery library also have used for uh giving some good effects and creating validations and the integration of the form calendars right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project e-healthcare management system so let's start with the functionality go through so project title is e-healthcare management system and it's a major java jsp and mysql based dbms project right dbms project because i am uh, we are using the mysql database for performing the CRUD application create read update read operations right so let's start so this is the home page of the project you can see there's a simple home page these all doctors are coming from the database right so this is a dynamic but this is a static part right so if you click on the doctor you will be able to see the details of the doctor and you can book the appointment right so there is a restriction you will not be able to book the appointment without resting the system right so this is the home page this is about us this is a static about us content if you want to change the content just open the about us.jsp and you can change the content there this is all doctors all doctors which is available in the system will be displayed here right you can see and if you want to see the details just click on the doctor and you can book the appointments from here right this is a register if you don't have the user id and password if you don't have the account in the system then you can register from here just click on the patient registration and after that after filling these details you will be able to register inside the system this is the login from here there are two types of login as i told you earlier admin login and the patient login once you click on the admin login then admin login page will be open if you click on the patient login then patient login page will be open and the patient will be able to log inside the system right this is a contact us page this is a static contact us page I'm not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i'm not sending any type of email and sms from this page so login so i'm going to log in as an admin first so the user id is admin and the password is test once you log inside the system you will get the dashboard here you can see a lot of option from uh, here admin can form these operations right so these dashboards will be different for all users means all users means uh, all user roles for admin it will be different for patient it will be different right so let me go through one by one home i already explained to you about us this is a dashboard from here you can jump on that page if you the same menu option is available here also you can see here right so let me go through one by one this is the add new doctor here you can see doctor form doctor name and after entering all of the details you'll be able to save a new doctor right this is add new doctor this is add new patient from here admin can add new patient also admin can register the patient also right this is the reports all doctor reports all of the doctors which has been added by admin will be displayed here admin can edit the doctor details from here and also he will be able to update the account details this is all patients from here all of the patient reports will be displayed and admin can read the patient details right this is the all appointments all appointments which patient has made will be displayed here if you click on the view details then you will be able to see this is the doctor details and this is the patient details right okay all appointments so this is the full uh, patients which admin can perform this is a change password from here admin can change his account password and after changing the password he will be able to log in with his updated password and log out this is a session driven menu if i log out from the system then administration menu will not be displayed then okay now i am going to log in as a patient so the patient user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test once you log in said oh i think there is some issue uh, patient login and yes so actually i was on there on the admin page that's why right so you can see the dashboards are different here you can see the different dashboard menus and the admin the menu options was 
higher right okay so let me go through one by one right home about us dashboard so this is a dashboard here all doctors patient can see and suppose if i want to book the doctor from book doctor appointment from here once you click on the book appointment then you will be able to see the details of the doctors and just enter the date and timing is equal to 10 pm right? and description right want to book an appointment once you click on the book appointment you need to enter your card details right the doctor fees is 400 rupees so, sorry so enter your card number here in the name of the cards no need of entering the correct credit card details this is a dummy page only no real transaction will be made expiry date and uh, this ncv number once you click on the make payment you will be able to see the booking receipt means the appointment receipt so you can print it also just click on the print button and this page will be printed from your connected printer right so this is all doctors i already explained this is my appointments all appointments which you have made will be displayed here you can see this these appointments you have made right once you click on the appointments so you will be able to see the appointment details here right this is a my account from where you will be able to update your account details and the logout again so this is a logout right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this great e healthcare management system and as i told you earlier i had developed this project in java gsp and mysql and this is a dbms uh, measure project right because it has patient and admin login both right so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for, thanks for watching the video thank you very much